I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches on an edge. For instance, if you were knitting this as a scarf, it looks kind of ragged, so you might want to put a border on it. And this is the way you do it. I always use either a double pointed needle or a circular needle, just so that I can slide the stitches back and forth. And I always use a much smaller needle than the one that you've used for your actual knitting. It's easier to pick up the stitches that way. So what you do is you take your needle, your smaller needle, and just go into every stitch and put it onto the needle. Now when you come to a point like this where there's a color, it gets a little more complicated because you've added a stitch of another color, but just keep going, picking them up one by one as you go along. Like so. And I'm going to stop now so I can show you what to do next. I've picked up just enough stitches to show you how to do the technique. You, of course, would go all the way along your piece picking up all the stitches. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take the needle the size that you were using previously and you're going to put it into the stitch as if to knit it. Take your yarn that you're going to use as the edging, fold it over and put it, pull it through and you actually do knit it. Then you're going to do the same thing with the next stitch and you're going to use the tail and knit that stitch off. And then with the next stitch, again using the tail and knit that stitch off. And you continue doing this until you've knitted all your stitches off. And I've come to my last stitch. Now you have all the stitches on the needle and you have to decide what to do. You're going to turn the work around and taking another needle of the same size, you're going to knit or purl back. I would suggest for starters to do a knit back which will give you the garter stitch. It won't roll or curl or turn in. It's perfect for an edging. So you're just going to knit all the stitches again, making your second row. Now we've come to one of the stitches that's doubled because the tail is in there. You're going to knit that as one and then just knit the last stitch off and again turn the work around. Now you're probably going to want to do three, four, five rows. You can determine how many you want to do by how wide your piece is and how much of an edging you want. But just continue knitting the garter stitch for as long as you want. And if you were going to do a different edging, say a pico edging, you would have knit the stockinette stitch for a few rows and done the pico edging which you can see on my how to do a pico edging video. But for me, I think this is going to be my last row. Yes, that looks very nice. And now I'm just going to bind it off loosely. Not too tight because you don't want to pull it in. Bind off stitch by stitch. Try to go slow here as per your request. Binding off every stitch until you get to the last one. And one more. And the last one. Pull it across. And we're going to cut the tail off and pull it through. And there you have it. And it's a really nice edging for a scarf or a blanket or whatever it is that you're making.